Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Friday, fabulous first grade. Hey, I was just reading this story about the pumpkin patch, and I think it looks a lot like our pumpkin, don't you? Hey, if you want to know about pumpkins and how they grow and what it might be like at a pumpkin patch, you could check out this book, Story and Photographs by Elizabeth King. It has real pictures of pumpkins and all the things at a farm where they grow pumpkins kind of a fun book. So you might look at that on Sora or from your Fresno County Public Library. All right, it is time for the number one Sora readers. Okay, here we are. Computech Middle School, congratulations. This week, you are number one. Way to go, Tigers, great job. I am so proud of you for checking out books on Sora and reading. That tells me that you are super smart because super smart people read. And you can get super smart by reading. Great job. Let's talk some more about pumpkins. You know, Mr. Hammock and I went to the pumpkin farm to pick a pumpkin just for us, for our classroom. Because, you know, tomorrow is Halloween. I'm sure you haven't forgotten, even though it might look different this year. It may be a little different, but it's still Halloween and it's still fun to dress up, isn't it? And one of our traditions at our house is that we like to carve a pumpkin. Do you do that too? Well, we went to the pumpkin farm and the man at the pumpkin farm, when we took our pumpkin up to check out, said, oh, Oh, you got the magic pumpkin. We said, what? He said, yeah, you got a magic pumpkin. I said, well, it looks like all the other ones. How, how do you know it's magic? He goes, oh, you're just gonna have to wait and see. So Mr. Hammock and I were super excited. We took it home, we sat it up on the counter, waiting for today to get here so we could carve it. And we watched it. It hasn't done anything magical. It's still just a pumpkin. So I'm not sure what he was talking about, but I was hoping maybe you could carve it with me and then maybe we would figure out what the magic is. Do you wanna do that? Great. Okay, so we have to have a talk first though, right? Because carving pumpkins means you have to have some sharp things to do that with. And boys and girls, this part of carving pumpkins is for grown-ups. So please make sure that if you're carving a pumpkin that your grown-up is the one using the sharp knife. I happen to have a knife that's especially made for boys and girls, and you might have one of these at your house too, but it's still a good idea to never use anything sharp like this or another kind of sharp knife without your grown-up. Always have a grown-up with you. That's just the safe thing to do. So I thought we would carve this and cut the top off and then maybe you could send me a picture of what you think the face should look like. What do you think? Okay, all right, so like I said, he told me that it was magic and I have no idea what he was talking about because I was telling Mr. Hammock what could he be, what on earth? I mean, what could he be talking about? It's orange like all the norm, regular pumpkins. There were some white ones. I thought, well, maybe the white ones are magic because they're kind of unusual. Or the Cinderella pumpkins, those are the ones that are kind of flat and bluish and they're really beautiful, but they're different. So I thought, well, I don't really know what he's talking about with it being a magic pumpkin. And so we're gonna cut this off we're gonna open it up and scoop out some of the pumpkin seeds. Do you like to eat pumpkin seeds? I do. We roast them in the oven and put a little salt on them. They are delicious. Have you ever done that? You might think about doing that with your pumpkin. All right, this pumpkin is, whoa, it is really a nice, heavy, thick pumpkin. 
I bet there's going to be a lot of room in here for my candle that I'm going to put in here, or my little flashlight candle. All right. Oh, I'm almost there. Okay. I think I got it. Let's see. Oh, okay. All right. Are you ready? Okay, for the big reveal. Let me see. Oh, oh my gosh. I think I found out where the magic is. You are not going to believe this. Are you ready? I've never seen a pumpkin like this in my life. I cannot believe it. You're not going to believe this. Are you ready to see? All right, here we go. There are no seeds. It's filled with candy. How did he do that? There's candy in this pumpkin. There are no seeds in here. He was right. It is a magic pumpkin. I've never opened a lid to a pumpkin and had it be filled with candy, have you? Wow! That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I hope you find a magic pumpkin. Hey, we need to get started with some lessons because even though it's a super exciting day, we still have some learning to do. Are you ready to join me? Great job. Wow. All right, we're gonna, it's Friday, so we're playing two games for our listening ears, right? We're going to train our ears to blend and then we're going to train them to segment. That's what we do on Fridays. So here we go. I'm gonna tell you some sounds. You're gonna put them together and tell me what my word is. Are you ready? Ha, a, n, d, hand. Good job. How about this one? L, a, st, last. Very nice. Okay, now it's your turn to take the words apart. Are you ready? Pest, pest. Okay, here we go. P, e, s, t, pest. Good. Do you hear how segmenting would be really helpful for you when you're writing words because you're separating each sound so that you know what letter to write? That's why we practice. Okay, how about this one? Spend, spend. And spend. Ooh, that was a lot of sounds. Did you hear the sp at the beginning? That blend sound? Good for you. All right, let's do some fluency practice with our vowels and our beginning blends so that we can do some word building. Are you ready? All right. Short A, apple, a. Ah. Short E, egg, eh. Short I, insect, I. Short O, octopus, A. Uh. Short U, umbrella, A. Uh. Good for you. All right, now we got some blends. We're going to start with our beginning blends. S-K, sk. S-P, sp. S-N, sn. S-L, sl. P L pl F L fl C L cl B L bl F R fr T R tr Now our ending blends M P mp N D nd and N K nk Good for you. All right, we have been working on digraphs. SH, sh, for the shell card. TH for the thumb card. And then we have the NG card. Here's the sing card. And remember I told you it's never just by itself. It has to have a vowel. Ing, ang, ong, ung. Good job. All right, let's read some words together, okay? Here we go. We're going to isolate and then blend. F, I, sh, fish. Good job. All right, what if I take away the, if I know how to write fish and read fish, then I can also read this word. D, I, sh, 
dish. Dish. Good job. I can also read this word. W, I, sh. Wish. Wish. Good for you. Great reading. All right, so we practiced that. And now let's take a little look at our closed syllables. Because remember we were talking about a closed syllable is a word part that is the vowel is closed in by a consonant, and that tells us that it's a short vowel sound. So we're gonna split some words apart, and we're gonna do some reading, and you're gonna help me. Are you ready? Okay, let's take a look at this word. This word is selfish. Let's find out how many syllables it has. Are you ready? Self-fish. Try it again. Sell-fish. Good job. Did you hear where it splits? Look, here's two consonants. Remember when we're splitting words into syllables, often we split them between the two consonants. So then now we can look. Here's the first syllable, cell. And we need to think, is that a closed syllable? We have a vowel, and then right after it is a consonant. So yes, cell is a closed syllable. How about the second syllable, fish? Is that a closed syllable? Here's our vowel. And here's our consonant. So yes, it is also a closed syllable. That means this vowel, E, is going to say the E eh sound. And we put a little smile over the top of it. That's the short vowel. And I says the short I sound for fish. Good job. Let's try one more, okay? Let's try this one. Basket. Ready to clap it with me? Basket. How many syllables did you hear? Two. Good. Bas. Ket. So here's our vowel, and here's our consonant. That is a closed syllable. That means it has the short vowel sound. And ket is the second syllable. Here's the vowel. And here's the consonant. It is also a closed syllable. That means the E is going to say the short E sound. Bas -ket. Basket. Great job. I think we should practice our high frequency words one more time this week. And so I'm going to have you say them with me. We're going to read them. We're going to spell them out loud. And will you please write them? Great. All right, here's the first one. A L L all. Call C A L L. Day D A Y. Her H E R. And want W A N T. I want you to have a great weekend and be safe if you go outside in your costume. I hope I see you next week. Goodbye now, goodbye now, the clock says we're done. I'll see you tomorrow. No, I won't. I'll see you on Monday. Goodbye, everyone. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for 